The Lord said to Mary Magdalene, Go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today as we come before our Father in heaven, let us call to mind the times that we have failed and ask God for his divine mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. <clears throat> we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, and we glorify you. And we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others, with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh, even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh. Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is in new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God, who I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirst, like the earth parched, likeness and without lifeless and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed towards you in the sanctuary. You see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. 
As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exalted lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. You are my help, <clears throat> and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O oh my God. Alleluia, alleluia. Tell us, Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ. I saw his empty tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we do not know where they have put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there. But Jesus, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher, and Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and to your Father, to my God and to your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported all that he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come by the most powerful means of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Today we celebrate the Feast of Mary Magdalene. And it's a beautiful feast because we get to hear some of the Easter readings outside of Easter. And it's that aspect of the empty tomb that's so important to us that Mary witnessed right after the resurrection. And then the mystical sense of Christ when he appeared to her and spoke to her. She becomes one of the first witnesses of the resurrection and clues into the disciples what's going on. Why Mary? I think Mary is an important figure. Mary Magdalene is an important figure. And there's that scripture, and it says, to those much that is forgiven. No, that's not the, the term. Jesus says a parable. And he's talking, I think, to a scribe, and he says, who is the one that is more thankful? The ones who's... Uh, forgiven greatly, the one that is just forgiven moderately. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Well, Mary Magdalene was a great sinner. She was on a wayward path, um, moving into prostitution and selling herself. She sinned greatly in the flesh. But yet she was attracted to the Spirit of Christ. She was attracted to the goodness she had a good heart but was falling into those acts of desperation 
And Christ, his presence, his love for her and his forgiveness turned her. And she did a complete 180 and walked with Christ the rest of her life. She became, in a sense, a disciple of Christ, a student of Christ. And compared comparatively, one of the great conversions of Scripture. The other great conversion is St. Paul that we mentioned in the first reading. And it talks about those that know Christ no longer live in the flesh but in the spirit. It's a mystical life in which Paul is talking about. And this is what Mary was so open to. And this is how that conversion happened. So my brothers and sisters, the lesson today is seek the spiritual things. Seek the things of heaven. Seek the mystical aspect of who Christ is. It's not about holding on to the flesh. And we ourselves in this world have to get out of our flesh, our needs, our wants, uh, keeping up with the Joneses, material things. All of that is things of the flesh in this world. But we should concentrate on the things of heaven, love, peace, joy, the grace of God coming in, his forgiveness, his mercy, his love, our prayer for others because that is so important in these days that we live today. How do we start that? It's one prayer a day. Maybe in our Father in the morning when we get up in the morning and we address God as our Father and we start to move through our day and ask him to bless us. And he will carry us on and he will teach us how to pray. Father, we come before you in praise and thanksgiving. We thank you for hearing us for we know you always hear us. Consider these needs and we beg you to answer them. Father, we continue to pray for our church, for our Holy Father, as cardinals, bishops, for all priests, deacons, religious. We pray for the newly ordained, those about to be ordained. And we pray also, Lord, for uh, those studying for the priesthood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our leadership in the world. We pray especially for... Um, our national government, our state government, our local municipalities, for a holy boldness in Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sanctity of life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our military, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, hospital personnel, and all that come to serve us in crisis to keep them safe. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for you, for your family, your friends, your circle of influence, for those that have asked for our prayers, your prayers, and especially the intentions and the silence of your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all the ill, especially those that are struggling uh, with respiratory issues, the COVID issues all across the world, but we especially pray for our own parishioners in elder care and nursing homes uh, that are homebound. And for healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for the souls in purgatory, especially from these parishes. We ask, Lord, that you free them and bring them to your kingdom, to your glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, these are our prayers. We ask you to hear them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and also through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, or wine to offer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands and the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Margaret, or St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity and was graciously accepted by our, your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all, all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you, O holy people, he stretched out his hands and endured his passion, so to break the bonds of death and to manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Anthony, with St. Uh, Mary Magdalene and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life we may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit a glory and honor is yours forever and ever At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. love of Christ impels us so that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and who was raised. Let us stand and pray. May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us that persevering love with which St. Mary Magdala clung resolutely to Christ, her Master, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Masses ended. Go in the peace of Christ.